A firefighter suit is a mark of respect and is considered to be the ultimate protection for the selfless men and women who help people in the worst scenarios. But do we actually know whether these suits protect them from all forms of exposure? Let me try to tell you a story in the next two and a half minutes that I have. Consider a firefighter entering a burning building, as you can see in the left image. Apart from the tremendous heat exposure, the firefighter also gets exposed to a variety of toxic chemicals and gases that gets released because of the synthetic materials burning inside the fire. These chemicals then get deposited onto the gear that they are wearing. Now, we might think it would be easy to get rid of these chemicals by means of washing, right? But in fact, the current washing procedures mandated by the federal agencies removes only about 40% of these chemicals from their gear. The contaminated gear that is used in fighting a fire is then, then taken back to a fire station, either in the trunk of a car or in a fire truck. In both the cases, the interior of a vehicle gets hot and off-gassing of chemicals occur. Off-gassing is the release of chemicals from a material when it is heated. I'm sure all of you all must have smelled something from your car when you parked it outside on a hot sunny day. That is the off-gassing of the chemicals from the seats and the other interior parts of the car. Similarly, when the contaminated gear is stored in fire stations, as you can see in the right image, off-gassing of chemicals could possibly be occurring. This is because of the elevated temperatures inside the fire station. In both these conditions, the firefighters are not wearing respiratory protection and there is a chance of direct inhalation of these chemicals. My research identifies the off-gassing of these toxic chemicals at the conditions that I mentioned. To do so, we partnered with the Cary Fire Department and visited a life goal. We then collected actual field contaminated firefighter gears for analysis. I used an instrument known as the Headspace Sampler to mimic the conditions of a car trunk and that of a fire station. My results indicate that potentially cancer-causing compounds that are commonly found in plastics and synthetic products kept off-gassing for as long as two days. This is a serious threat and the off-gassing of these chemicals uh, could lead them to contracting certain types of cancers. We all know about the tragic 9-11 incident in which the firefighters involved in the part of rescue were diagnosed with several types of cancers and continue to be affected even today. As I'm speaking, even the, fire, even the brave firefighters in the state of California are tackling the fire that's currently ongoing. Ultimately, nothing is more rewarding than helping the wonderful firefighting community and in making sure that we contribute in keeping them safe and help those who help us. Thank you.